In today's episode, you'll learn about the different paid advertising available to you on podcast apps. Welcome to Podcast and Q&A, where you learn the best tips and strategies to launch, grow, and monetize your show. Promoting your podcast is one of the most important things that you can do to grow your show and get you more subscribers. After all, it doesn't matter how amazing your content is if no one knows about it. Paid ads on social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Google come to mind for a lot of podcasters, but they're not always the most ideal way of getting the word out about your show. I've personally run a few ads on Facebook, and I got a lot of clicks, but it was really hard to see how many subscribers I got. And at the end of the day, that's what you want to know when you're paying for advertisements. How many people are now subscribed to the show? That's what makes apps like Overcast, CastBox, Podbean, and a whole lot more way more ideal. They allow you to promote your show to people who are already listening to podcasts. But there are some best practices that you should know before starting. First and foremost, set a budget. It's important to have this in mind when you're seeking out these different podcast platforms to run paid ads. Platforms like Overcast and Podcast Addict offer self-service style ad placements that range from $300 to about $1,000 depending on the category you select. But if you got a bigger budget, you might look into Pocket Cast or CastBox, which run shorter ads that only run for about a week and range about $2,000, but guarantee that your podcast gets in front of a whole lot more people. Secondly, set realistic expectations. Paying for paid advertisements on these podcast platforms is not an overnight success thing. You might have to experiment a few times. You might have to change the copy you provide or the category that you advertise on or the creative and a whole lot more. You might even have to try different podcast apps. You gotta really think about this as a long-term strategy and investment that'll take both time and money. And at the time of this recording, I'm actually running two paid advertisements myself, one on Overcast and one on Podcast Addict. Both of them have about a week before they end, but I've already seen 40 new subscribers. And when you consider that the average podcaster gets about 28 downloads per episode, it really puts things into perspective. In closing, investing in these paid ad placements on these different podcast apps, it's a great strategy to help you grow your show, get you more subscribers, and promote your content. Now, if you wanna learn more about getting your podcast and these paid ad placements, check out the extensive blog post on the Buzzsprout website, which we'll link in the show notes, that breaks down the various apps and the different requirements and price points that they offer. Or you can check out the video that me and Travis did, where we did a detailed case study looking at the different ads I was running at the time. We looked at the price I paid, the results I was seeing, and a whole lot more. We'll have a link to that in the description. We hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, keep podcasting.